Okay, so I'll show you how that all works. So we have all these dogs here. If I let them just have the, the frisbee and run around with it, they'll probably end up fighting over it over there. Uh, of course, when you have a dog that's too possessive, then you can kind of find out that that dog has that issue when you play with the toys. So you can kind of say, okay, that dog has a little issue we gotta work on. He doesn't drop it well, or doesn't drop it right away, or he fights over the toys. You can find those things out, label them that, and then go work on that in separate training. So, but right now, I want all their attention. I got their attention because I have the item of interest, I call it. Uh, this is called like hold the goal. They got all their attention. Put this frisbee on my head, you know, like, guess where they're following, you know? <laughs> Follow the guy with the frisbee on his head. Bella's like, cut to her. Look. Bella's like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, ready? Now, back to the rules. My frisbee. So that's why I have it 90% of the time. And then, Second rule, they can only take it if I say so. You gotta test them by tempting them. But they'll learn right quickly when they just don't get it. That's, that's how they learn. You don't have to say no, you don't have to whap them over the head or anything. You just don't let them take it. You want them to focus on it, but have the impulse control not to take what they want. Until I say, third rule, that's dropping it. But we'll just go to the second rule, throw it. Go. She caught it, and now she's gonna come back. And the third rule is dropping it. When I say drop, okay. Look, they all went that way. My frisbee, sit. I don't know you yet. Sit, Rocky. Okay. Come back this way. Look, guys. Almost. All right. 